Hi all, so welcome back to our next video. So this is the most requested video because the Azure Data Engineering path, uh, DP100, if you clear the DP100, you want to move on the DP203. So that is an important exam. If you complete it, you want to become an associate, okay? So that is the reason uh, this exam is very important. And when you study the Azure, you need to know what are the things you can do in this project and how you can optimize in different ways. That also very important. And uh, one criteria they are asking, at least six months of experience you had in the Azure uh, data engineering before you attempt the exam because we, you, uh, you need to familiarize more about the environment and you need to identify what other things will happen there. Then it will be easy to answer the question they are asking in the examination. So that is very important. Uh, here you can see that the exam DP203 data engineering on the Microsoft Azure and uh, you can uh, schedule with the on view. For example, if you want to schedule this one, there is an on view option and the offline option. You can because on view is better. But to be honest, on view is the better because when you are uh, asking uh, like if you if you take the exam in your home, it will be easy. So on view is better. So you can do that one on view exam. And what are the things we need to complete before attending the examination? So this is the one. There are the online free courses are available. First one is we need to know the syllabus. Uh, first syllabus will be design and implement data storages. That means first thing as a data engineer, we want to know how the data stored in our system, right? Because data are getting from different sources. You can get the SAP system, you can get the uh, SQL DB or you can get the cloud everywhere. The streaming, you can get the data from everywhere. But how this data you need to store, that is the first thing you want to, as a data engineer or Azure data engineer, you want to know. So design and implement the data storage. The weightage is more 40 to 45 percent. That is important. Then design data processing. Once you store the data, requirement depends upon the requirement you need to process it so that is the next step design and develop the data processing system 25 to 35 that means the majority of the azure data engineering question will ask from these two so you need to focus on the storage and the data processing then the design and implement the data security because once you store the data definitely you need to identify what are the security need to that otherwise the we it will be affect the uh, hackers right so that is an important then optimize monitor and optimize the data storage and the processing once you implement that storage and the data processing you need to monitor is it working fine is there any need any kind of uh, help so that is the monitoring section so these are the important things we can move on the guide guide we can move so, I think how to learn the certification, renewal, Microsoft Learn Profile, passing score 70, 700, exam sandbox. So, these are the things available. Then, there are packed test also there. Uh, yeah. So, we can move on this one. What are the, these are the things we already, we already discussed. Then, moving on the design and implement the data storage, 40 to 45 percentage. First one will be design the data. We can check data storage structure, partition strategy, serving layer, physical data storage structure, implement logical data structures, implement serving layer, serving layer. So these are the things under the storage. Then coming to design data storage uh, structure, first one assure data lake. That means the storing position. Data lake is the Sure, data like is the anything we want to store. So that is the uh, like a C because we are dumping lot of data or lot of wastes in the C, right? So uh, not waste, but in our case, the sure like like a lay. Uh, their concept we can do, we can store lot of data. So first one design an Azure data like solution. Recommend file type of the storage. Because we are getting different sources. For example, you are a 
stream live stream the streaming kind of data you are getting and if you are a programmer or you need to process some kind of csv excel file definitely we don't want to save like an excel or csv in our storage we want to convert more optimized from like parquet avro any kind of structure it will optimize the data and help to improve the efficiency of the process because we are not processing one or two data right we are processing millions of data because that much of data is generating everywhere so that time the optimization at least small optimization will impact a lot when you process more data right so that is the reason we want to store the data in the different optimized format then uh, next will be file type and the analytical query file types efficient query design an efficient query because we need to optimize each and every query data tuning folder structure that rep represent the level of the data random for example hierarchy hierarchy level we are uh, taking for example uh, in an organization ceo in the under the ceo there is four uh, leads under the c under the each lead there are four sub leads so these are the category so once you pick once you compact this uh, structure because the structure like a tree right ceo four lead in uh, under this each lead we have a four sub lead so that means a straight structure that three structure we want to uh, fit into a table that means ceo is the one column next one will be sub uh, lead next one will be sub lead so that kind of hierarchy transition need to do so that is the thing we need to level represent the level of the transformation distribution strategy data archiving solution then partition because the partition helps to load the data in an efficient way because we can uh, for example we want to load we cannot load 1 million or 10 million data at a time we can load the data 1 million in one partition one next one will be in another partition that will help to improve the efficiency of loading plus you can find the data easily because in this range the particular range this will be under the first partition this will be under the second partition then we don't want to check all the data right so that is the main thing design the partition strategy for the file design the partition strategy for analytical workload design the partition strategy efficient performance partition strategy for azure synapse analytics that is important and data like storage gen 2 then serving layer we want to know star schema 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 we need to identify slowly changing dimension in the data objects we need to identify these things dimensional hierarchy solution of temporal data incremental loading analytical store the meta store assure synum because i think in this uh, data engineer dp2 knowledge the latest to gain contains more impact on the assure synum because assure synapse is the system we can replace the entire adf and data bricks this is anything we can do inside the assure synapse that is the important so definitely you want to more focus on the assure synapse then physical data storage compression important partition sharding table type geometries assure synaptic pool data redundancy removal means data duplication removal distribution how to distribute it efficiently data archiving then build a logical structure build a temporal data solution slowly changing dimension logical folder structure i already mentioned right that ceo example external table implement the file and folder section for an efficient query data tuning implement the serving layer hmm. deliver the data relational start deliver the data parquet file parquet file important meta may maintain the metadata implement the dimensional hierarchy then next will be more focus on the data because storage is completed next one is data processing data processing will you can use spark spark is important uh, transformed by sql data factory azure synapse pipeline stream analytics these are the things will help to transform the data then cleanse the data split the data shared json and encode and decode data configure error handling for the transformation normalization normalization value transform the data by using scala perform the exploratory analytics 
design and develop batch processing solution. Batch processing means there are two things, analytical uh, concept that means streaming and batch processing. The batch processing means you can, for example, you are, your client is uploading the data every day in the morning. That means a schedule one. Every day you will get a data that means batch in the batch we can schedule at the morning 7 a.m. So that is the one concept, batch processing. But streaming means continuously the live streaming, continuously process the data. We don't know when the live streaming happened, that kind of thing we don't know. But we are need to know this will happen there. So that is the main difference in the batch processing. Batch processing create data pipeline design because with the help of ADF we can do this one handle the security scalar resources configure the batch size design and create the test of the data pipeline then Jupyter Python notebook handle duplicate data missing data this is also very important because when we process 1 million 2 million data maybe duplicate records are there we don't want to save that one right so that is important missing data some null values missing that kind of things Lating arrival data, absurd data, regress or previous state, design and configure exceptional handling, configure batch retention, design batch processing solution and spark job by using spark UI. So these are the under this one. Then streaming. We already discussed the uh, batch processing. Then next one will be the streaming one. Streaming one continuously we are running the data, right? So you can use the stream analytics is a separate one. And Azure Data Bricks, Azure Event Hub. Then process data by using fast structured streaming, monitor performance, functional regression, design, create window aggregate, handle schema drift, process time series, process across partition, process within one partition, configure the checkpoint, watermark, that kind of thing. Absurd replay, anything because uh, it is different, but uh, like streaming will happen live stream. So that is the concept. That is the two things. Then manage batch and pipeline. With the help of trigger, we, we are managed because uh, if the schedule triggers, we are implemented in the morning time, 7 a.m. This we do not trigger implement. So that is the trigger batches, validate, manage, uh, data factor synapse, schedule, data factor synapse, Im implement version control, pipeline artifact, manage spark job. Then the security. Security means once you complete the data, data processing, uh, while storing the data and processing the uh, data, we need to ensure we are moving in a secure path, don't want to, because the hackers or anyone to interfere those things. So that is under the, this category. Uh, auditing strategy, uh, encryption data transit under rest, in a rest state, masking for uh, password, that kind of thing, we can mask anyone, anyone cannot see that one. Uh, data privacy, data retention, role-based accessing, Azure RBC, role-based access. But it is very important. Uh, most of the questions asking sometimes asking from R RBAC, role level and column level security. Then here you can see the data mask, data masking already. Encrypt, role level, Azure this one, retention policy, auditing strategy, implement the data security. Then next one will be the monitor and optimize because once you process the data, the storage and the data processing completed or they are doing, we need to monitor it. Is it working fine or they implement logging used Azure monitor, configure the monitor service. Monitoring is needed because otherwise how we know is it working or not. Understand the custom logging option, find out the error from the logging. Schedule and monitor pipeline test, implement, in, interpret, mon Azure monitor metrics logs. Interpret the spark directed ax a d a g. This is also important. Then troubleshooting. Combat small file. Rewrite user defined function UDF. Handle skew data. Handle data spill. Turn shuffle partition. Find shuffling in pipeline. Optimize resource management. Tune queries by using indexers. Tune queries by using Akashi, optimize pipeline for analytical and transactional purposes, optimize pipeline for descriptive versus analytical workload, troubleshoot failed spark job, troubleshoot failed pipeline plan. So these are the main thing we want to focus on the DP tunnel. The syllabus is really worse. Definitely you will give at least one month time when you're preparing this one. It is not easy as DP2, uh, DP900, 
you need to more focus and you need to do some hands on experience i think uh, mahad basha our first studies is a good uh, site you can refer other than it's a free resources right there he's done a lot of things in in the i think two and a half year so that was really helpful to uh, know your knowledge and i'm also uploading videos it will help you so this is the thing you want to focus on the dp203 you need any help you can uh, comment below because i think um, uh, we need to focus on the hands on i think january i can start on the hands on before that i will take one challenge uh, as per the surrounding so i need to complete that one then i can move back into asher because i'm working on the asher so yeah so that's it i think this video is helpful so take at least one month time before preparing that is my advice okay guys